for me, uh, negotiation, you know, like conflict and the management of conflict, you know, it's a part of the human experience. We, uh, we don't need to fetishize it, but we could learn a lot from uh, looking a little more carefully at our daily lives. So all, all I would say is that for me, but actually for almost all human beings, uh, negotiation is, is our shadow as we walk through life. The formative uh, experiences in my earlier career uh, were on a relatively small scale. They were on the tactical scale of, of Sarajevo City or Varesha City, um, but they were pregnant with all the difficulties and um, dilemmas of, of our business. Yeah. For me, you know, the, the big lesson is, you know, negotiation, mediation is not a solution. To, to all problems. It's often, in fact, you know, a least bad uh, outcome, but, um, but it's an absolutely necessary one. You know, you, you are making horrible compromises. Who, who will get food? You know, where can uh, snipers take shot at? Almost all of our outcomes uh, in negotiations around humanitarian events are somehow between bad outcomes and worse outcomes. And I think that is, it's psychologically um, relatively difficult sometimes. And I think it's, um, it's morally quite difficult. A French uh, general walked in with a, a bottle of whiskey, uh, just at the signing and uh, you know, it's very serious business, human lives on the line, so on, and everybody um, you know, had a, a drink, you know, just as the documents were being printed out. As we, you know, went over to sign it, one of the participants, one of the uh, negotiators for one of the sides, the, the Bosnian uh, government was, was writing something, you know, much in addition to just his signature, and, and the, uh, the Serb negotiator, uh, uh, said to him, and everybody had had far too much to drink by that point. Um, well, what, what are you, what are you doing? Um, and and you're adding names here. I can see you're adding names to the list. And the, the Muslim negotiator said, Yeah, 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 but they're they're just members of my family, you know, uh, from relatives of my wife. <laughs> I mean, and for me, it was it was insane. I mean, it shows that you know there is this you know totally rational. Uh, very harsh uh, interest-based process that arrives at a certain outcome. And then there is wiggle room. There, there's, and there's wiggle room that can save lives or at least uh, reduce levels of human uh, suffering. The mediator or the negotiator on, on humanitarian issues, you know, like a, a doctor needs to be close enough to the subject to have real empathy, but distant enough from the subject uh, to understand that a less bad uh, result can also be uh, morally important and important at the human level. For me, the, the lessons that have uh, followed me through, throughout my career in this field have largely been about what trade-offs are acceptable and, and what are not. The first is there will be some measure of, you know, what's often now called decolonization. The second thing I would say is, is to say it's, it's quite likely that the whole field will uh, become uh, more networked and less structured. And I think that, uh, you know, the CCHN is, you know, in a way, uh, an adaptation to that. It's, it, it, it's dealing at least on the skills and capacity side. It's saying that more is about networks and less is about structures. And, and indeed, that's the part of the CCHN that, that I personally like the most.